one vampire mod, two vampire mods, three vampire mods. I love to make videos about vampire mods. Ah, ah, ah. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm truly sorry for that. Let's actually get into the video. <clears throat> oh, man, that's embarrassing. Uh, so how have things been? Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn and welcome to a mod showcase slash review of Hema, Play as a Vampire. It's a vampire mod for Minecraft. Hema is by the Will Buy and it is for Minecraft version 1.17.1 and it is for Fabric as well as Java, I guess. So yeah, a Fabric Vampire mod. Vampirism is for Forge and Hema is for Fabric. So, for either one you use, be it Fabric or be it Forge, you can now play as a vampire. And Hema's actually got a bunch of really nice features that makes it a rather cool and unique mod. Definitely a different take than Vampirism. So let's get into Hema. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Alright, to start off with Hema, to get the guidebook that lets you know how to do things, it's a very simple recipe. You will need a alchemy setup, potion crafting. It is an awkward potion and a book. You put those two together, and bam, you get the Book of Blood, second edition. The Book of the Blood holds all the information of the mod within it, so it's pretty straightforward to just go through, read all that stuff, really easy stuff, really, really nice straightforward mod. To get started after that, the book will instruct you to make yourself an empty vampire blood injector, which is made with quartz, flint, and buttons. A pattern like this, that gives you the empty injector, and that'll instruct you to make a potion of strength, Strength 2, I believe, is what we need, and even if not, it's just best to get up to Strength 2. So Strength 2 Potion, and Empty Vampire Blood Injector. After that, the step is uh, a little bit more out of your control. You have to go find yourself a treasure. So, sunken ships, uh, strongholds, dungeons, temples in the jungle, and the desert temple all have a chance of containing a special item you need. It's a little bit rare, but you'll probably find it in at least one of the chests, and you take the vampire blood and you combine it with your invector, and then it'll ask you, do you have the strength to become a vampire? Question mark. And well, you need strength to become a vampire potion of strength, as a matter of fact. So you chug back the potion of strength, that'll give you the strength to become a vampire, then you eject yourself and you reject your humanity and you become a vampire. And there's a whole bunch of cool things that the Hema Vampire allows you to do and have. One of the first things is, uh, well, weakens you immensely and oh my goodness, all the colors get saturated. And that's because you're a starry vampire and you can bite anything as a vampire in Hema. So even the spider here, if we could just get him, there we go, shift, right click and you bite things. So you can bite anything. Now the blood quality is rather important because they're uh, the poor quality thing, as you can see in the bottom right, means that this spider isn't going to give us a very great amount of blood, but it's best bet. And I really like that you can bite anything as the Hema Vampire. Also another thing that the Hema Vampire has, which is rather ridiculous, is they're actually unkillable. So there's only very few things that can get there. Well, I guess the list is rather big. But there's not many things that can kill a Hema Vampire, and so you can, um, well, try to bite anything with blood. Ooh, Creeper's got blood. But see, explosions, arrows, zombies, none of this can kill us. Now, the sun will kill us, but that is, well, typical for the course for a vampire. Ah, there we go. We were burnt by the sun, so sunlight was very deadly. So, as you can see, whenever we take sunlight, we have sunlight sickness, and this will hurt us a lot. Ooh, sheep has medium quality. Now, the quality of the blood of creatures is, um, monsters have poor quality, random animals will have probably about medium, and villagers have high quality, and it's just your chance of regaining a bit of hunger, so each one's good for us all amount of hungers. Now, the world is very saturated because we're a starving vampire. If we get syringes filled with blood, we can drink those. We can then also store our blood for later by just right clicking with syringe. So syringe is sort of like a thing you can take out. So if you have a lot of food available, you can switch back and forth. But the saturation of the world actually changes based on how much food we happen to have, which is really cool. So now you notice that everything is super duper bright and that's because vampires have night vision, 
which uh, they just increased the saturation levels on the game. Now I also have the power now as a vampire, which is a vampiric dash. And that black smoke is basically where I'm going to teleport to. It's going to be like a little whoosh. And it does use up a small amount of my hunger, and there's a cooldown, but vampires can actually travel pretty decently and do the whole <laughs> travel, I don't know, like that weird blurring thing that a lot of vampires seem to have in the media, and it's very cool. Vampires also, when they're fully fed, have vampire strength, so you're actually stronger than an, a normal pleb as a vampire. You can hit really hard, so you're invincible, you can hit really hard. Sure, the sun murderizes you, but that, that, that's okay. Now, as a vampire, you may notice, wow, we can see really well at night in the dark, that's because of saturation grease, and you probably, as a vampire, you probably want to set yourself up by a village. Now, villages are not inherently dangerous to you, but they do become dangerous if you start killing villagers and animals. Vampire hunters will hunt you down if you're killing too many things by biting them. A village is a great little spot to set yourself up as a vampire, because, well, villagers have the highest quality of blood, if we can find one of these little buggers. So, if we just steal his bed, you'll see he's got good quality blood. And has its own little achievements. So, while we're even here, we can store some of our blood in some extractor, make the world a little less bright. And then we can bite this villager until we get, well, all of his blood and his lovely effects and flashing. And we have some blood stored for later and eventually they will die if you bite them too many times and as i said there's a chance that this will catch the ire of vampire hunters who can kill you with crossbow bolts well we seem to be fine right now so we're just going to creep over into this building and oh it's a very different kind of church didn't know those existed nobody's home so i'll just avoid all the skeletons now, vampires are also a little bit vulnerable to water. They don't become weaker in water in this mod, but vampires can drown. Don't ask me how an undead creature drowns, but an undead creature can drown. That's just the way things be. It's a little too bright in here, isn't it? Also, killing things through biting takes a very long time. It appears the hunters don't want us this time. So what else can you do in this mod? Well, you can make yourself a little bit more protected from the sun with leather armor. Gain yourself a full set of leather armor. And a few extra caps is a very good idea because they will burn through their duration and take the hits in the sunlight. So you can be outside for a very brief while with leather armor. Now, other armor types don't work, but well, the leather works brilliantly for this. And your cap will incinerate first, gets off your head. And I like to imagine, you know, you're just smoldering up as a vampire trying to desperately hide in your robes and you're running about in the sunlight and it's like, eh it's not good enough and just catching fire and smoking and it's kind of a cool concept i like that you just burn through the armor and the daytime though everything's really 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 saturated and bright and it's a little bit hard to see which is also a cool concept i haven't really seen done in any of the vampires that i've come across given was it two others beside this one no three i've looked at three different vampire mods none of them being this and well yeah this is a really cool concept i actually quite like the simplicity of this mod but also, it's the complexity that it has, like this teleport, the leather armor you can wear that takes the sunlight for you. They're all really cool ideas. Now, another thing that Hima adds is a little bit of a different take on the leveling up system that I've never quite seen done to this way before. So level up in Hima, you're going to need to build this object here. It requires lapis, it requires blackstone, and a bit of golden top, and that makes you the ritual table. The ritual table is an object that you place on other objects. So the basic level one, which you really shouldn't even bother building, takes stone of any sort and, well not cobblestone, but stone, and then light sources, so torches or campfires, anything like that, candles, and then the book basically gives you instructions on how to build it. So you can click a little eye, put it down, and it'll create a map for you to build the object with. But the upgrade version is what you really want, which requires blackstone, uh, blackstone bricks, and the soul torches. And that's what you want to build, because that's actually what allows you to do all the rituals, whereas the other ones just lets you change around your skill points, and it's kind of lame. I think it's a work in progress. You're also going to want a lot of water, because for some reason, vampires love their water. How the whole idea works 
is you have this table set up and you have your vampire book, Book of Blood, and you right click on this and it'll give you the rituals. So there's the ritual of basic, um, well, this is customized abilities, and then there's the plus one point. So it's very simple right now. And this is how you level up in this mod is doing these rituals. And so there's a bunch of different recipes. They're not repeatable and you can go through all of them and do them. And what you want to do is you want to fill up the base of your little ritual circle with water. So put one water into every single corner. And then the water will get all spooky. And then you take the ingredients for leveling up. So you just go, okay, so first one will take a mushroom. We'll take a spider eye. You're going to need a lot of permanent spires. And it'll take lapis lazuli. Then you go over and you stand on the table. This is a bit of a weird one. So you stand on the table. You throw the objects into the water. And then you right click on the table and it'll level you up. And it'll give you this little menu here. And now you can choose a new skill. And there's a whole bunch of different things vampires can do. So you can increase your vampire has strength and speed. You can increase the dash ability to give it less cooldown, or you can give yourself invisibility. And then you have your two other abilities here, the night vision, and you got the, well, whatever this is, the um, immortality. And don't pan around too much in this menu as you can get lost and then uh, it causes some weird bugs. Anyways, because of the glitches, I had to level up again to get a second skill point. All right, yeah, we have two skill points, so now we can level up so we can make our vampire strength better. And we'll actually have vampire strength three, so now we're slightly faster than normal. I think we punch slightly better than normal, and we're going to hit really hard with our punches. So we're slightly more powerful vampire than normal, which is, yeah, pretty cool. And can run faster. I'd like a little bit of, like, a jump boost or something. The mod doesn't have that quite yet. I think it's still kind of early days in some ways for this mod. Anyways, you just go through all these different ones. So there's like one that requires sugar, wither flowers, and glowstone dust. And you just go through, do all them, get all the levels. Visibility is another skill the vampire can have. And so when they are crouching, they can go visible. Now it's not quite the visibility of vampirism that vampirism offers, which is a pretty good one. But it now gives you a little cooldown on the right side, and it's just mods that actually really nicely put together, I find. There, we're invisible, we can shift, so there's a little bit of a sneaky invisible vampire sort of thing going on. And final level up, again, invisibility, and now we're just like slightly more powerful, so we can stay invisible. Six seconds for crouching, and we can teleport, it takes up a bit of blood, and well, that's just kind of the mod. And so the book here has all the stuff in it, all the different powers you can do, all the things, so... Dash, Invisibility, Vampire Mortal, Vampire Vision, Vampire Strength, so that's all the buffs and abilities you can get. Surviving, so it tells you a warning, don't kill villagers, because now illagers are vampire hunters, which is kind of fun. Uh, sunlight will kill you. There's blood storage devices, and your weaknesses are Sunlight, Lightning, Drowning, Dragon's Breath, The Void, and certain weapons such as Wooden Swords and Attack Smite. But besides that, you're basically safe from everything, as long as you don't get caught in the sun when you're really low because you actually can't die as a vampire and the teleport gets like no cooldown which makes you go across the landscape ridiculously fast i i'd like to see what it looks like it's probably just a teleport um so this effects don't probably don't apply but uh, it's really cool and also another thing to note is so you can go up pretty fast with the vampire sprint and vampires don't take fall damage so Another very nice little feature of the vampire. They don't take fall damage. However, their breath holding abilities kind of suck. Although they're very good at some things, they're not great at holding their breath. They have about the same amount of breath holding as a normal human. And much like in real life, water protects you from sunlight, except it doesn't. So I guess you can be like a hot tub vampire and you can still exist out in the sun, chilly in your pool, um, which is kind of fun. Um, but once you meet, you'll immediately catch fire, so I guess water's kind of being like that makes sense. Vampires can basically fly at this point. So I'm just going to go up to this mountain here. Also, golems actually don't hate you. If you suck from a villager, they will. But a golem can't actually kill you, and you regenerate ridiculously fast until you're out of blood. 
Now there's also supposed to be vampire hunters that show up if you kill too many things by biting them to death. But I did encounter any, and I spent a good half hour trying to find them. I've encountered them before, but this time they just didn't show up, so it was a little weird, and I just ran out of time to find them to show everyone in the showcase, unfortunately. Anyways, so yeah, that's basically a mod. I don't... there's no way in the book to unvampirize yourself, I don't know if that's a thing. You can vampirize other players by biting them, so that's kind of cool. Multiplayer capabilities, definitely like that. And it's kind of a fun time. I really like the teleportation, that's a fun effect. I like its biting mechanics, I like how simple it is the shift. You're just like slightly stronger than normal, you're invincible besides all the things you're not invincible to, and it's just a fun little time. Simple, straightforward vampire mod. Not too many bells and whistles, but it really just works for what it is. And it's quite satisfying because of that. So check out Hema via link in the description to the disc, not Discord, via link in the description to the mod page. And yeah, just have some fun with it in fabric. And now you can have vampires in your fabric world without having to go through all the craziness of Bewitchment, which I think is fun. And also, it's a lot more sophisticated, let's be perfectly honest, than the Bewitchment vampirism as well, which makes it all that much funner and better. So yeah, Halloween very close to coming up. It's basically near the end of the spooky season, so grab these vampires while you can. And if it's not Halloween at the time of you watching this, well, grab it anyways, because vampires are fun to play as, and everyone likes hunting vampires and also being vampires. So yeah, while you wait for it, install the mod if you think it looks cool, and I guess I'll catch you next time with whatever we're doing then. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.